is JSA TV, the newsroom for data center and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine of JSA, and we are coming to you live on location in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida at Metro Connect 2023. And I'm here with Mr. Mark Murphy. Mark is the president and CEO of Greenlight Networks. Mark, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks, Gene. Uh, Dean. Thanks. That's for, what I've been for... called much yes, worse, yes, Mark. Yes, I yes. promise you on that. But um, look, I know that approximately a year ago, you had an interview with JSA TV at Metro Connect, and a lot was going on then, and a lot has happened since then. So why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what's uh, what's happened to and for uh, for Greenlight over the last twelve months? Sure. And I, and I think one thing in the industry itself. At this show, what's been a lot of fun is to see how much interest there really is in fiber to the home. And so in every panel and every everything that I've been to so far today, it's great to see how much attention that we're yeah. getting as, as an industry. But in terms of Greenlight in particular, uh, in on June 1st, we closed our transaction with Oak Hill Capital Partners, um, who acquired us from, from Tom Galasano's family office, Oak Hill Cap, or I'm sorry, um, uh, another oak, but uh, <laughs> that's right. I'm, yeah, I was just like, no, I follow. <laughs> grand oak. Um, so, so we were able to complete that transaction back in June, yeah. And we've been working great with the Oak Hill team, and uh, and obviously they know this space, they love this space, and they've been great partners. And we've also announced a number of expansions uh, throughout New York State. So most mm -hmm. recently, we announced an expansion in the Hudson Valley to the Wallkill New York market. Um, we but we've also been expanding up into the Capital District and around Albany and Clifton Park, and as well as a number of, of expansions in, in and around Buffalo, Binghamton, and Rochester. I love it. Um, and anytime I hear somebody talk about fiber to the home, I think, well, I have a home and I would sure love fiber to it. Uh, and I'm in Northwest Indiana. So if you're if you're looking to expand, you've got at least one customer there. That's great to know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they'll get Make right Make sure you it. go to our website, place your, place your <laughs> order so we know where you are and, and maybe we'll come find you someday. Outstanding, and especially because I know that you recently decreased the cost of your one and two gig internet service. Why don't you explain why you're decreasing services, uh, why you're decreasing the cost of a service that is in such high demand? I, I think a, a lot of it was, you know, one of our values is, our core values is community. And we looked at a number of uh, the families in our communities and the issues they're having with price increases everywhere they go, whether it's the grocery store, the gas pump, mm -hmm. whatever. And, and, you know, with that, the demand for bandwidth has never been higher. So because we're an all fiber optic network, um, it's easier for us to scale up and provide more speeds than some of our competitors. Mm -hmm. and, and as a team, we made the decision that, you know, we wanted to um, take those products that were becoming more in demand, specifically our gigabit service and our mm -hmm. two gigabit service, lower those prices by $25 each. So now you can get a gigabit, synchronous gigabit for $75 in, in any of our markets. We also, at the same time, we announced a five gigabit service to really make sure that, you know, for those customers that really want mm -hmm. the fastest available, we're providing that. And, and actually the demand for that product has certainly exceeded our expectations. Yeah, wow. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, I mean, so the short answer to my question is you could do it. So you did. That's right. Um, I, I, I love it. I, I absolutely love that. So, um, okay. So you are currently available in 125,000 homes across 21 municipalities. How might that change say in the next year? You know, over the next year, we'd like to be somewhere around 200,000 homes passed. Mm -hmm. Uh, we think we've got a pretty good uh, roadmap to get there. And, um, you know, we've got some really good contractor partners, materials partners. So we think we've got a pretty good path to get there successfully. Let's talk about materials. I know we're going to go off script just a moment. I mean, uh, supply chain, things like that. Are they, is that an impediment to the, your expansion, your rollout? You know, we've been doing this for uh, nearly 12 years now. So I think we've got a pretty good track record and comfort level with our with our partners, whether mm -hmm. it's on the distribution side or on the manufacturers that, you know, we, we've been able to forecast pretty far ahead. They understand our needs and they also know that we've been able to deliver. And, and you know, so I think those relationships that have been forged over a long period of time where, you know, we've got a track record of success and, and have been doing this for so long, we feel pretty good that we'll continue to be able to meet our forecasts. I love it. I love it. Um, so predictions, industry predictions, what, uh, you know, beyond, beyond what you're doing, what, what do you, where do you see things going? 
Um, you know, I, I think there's going to continue to be a, a significant amount of investment in the space. Mm -hmm. I think what we're hearing in terms of some of the joint ventures being formed are, are, are interesting to watch with with some very large infrastructure funds and partners coming mm -hmm. in. Um, so, you know, it, that's all good stuff. And that's really what we rely on our partners at Oak Hill to help us manage and, and navigate through. So for us, it's really just making sure that we're building the passings that we want, delivering great customer service. We're proud to say we've got an 85% NPS score, or I'm sorry, an 84 uh, in change. So I've rounded up a little bit. <laughs> I, would, but, I would round but up. But we, <laughs> we think that's you know really best in class where most internet providers have negative or low single digit scores. So you know mm -hmm. once we we're able to bring a customer onto our network, it's rare that they leave. Uh, unless they move and hopefully they're, you know, if they move to Northwest Indiana or Northern Indiana, we can <laughs> Come provide my service so or something. Get you over yes. there. Um, so for our viewers that would like to know a little bit more about Greenlight, where should they go? Greenlightnetworks.com is our, our website, uh, which has just recently been refreshed and updated with some more functionality, mostly on the back end, but we think there's a nicer uh, front end to that. And we're in the usual social media spots as well. Outstanding, Mark. Thanks for being here. Thanks for Dean, thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.